And now the man that has been in nearly as many bands as Mike Patton. <laughs> the talented Mr. Corey Taylor. Hello, sir. How are you, buddy? I'm good, man. I'm really good. How you doing? Excellent. Congratulations, by the way. I'm sorry I missed it, but congratulations on the wedding. Thank you. We missed you, but uh, totally understood you're kind of a busy guy. It's, yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. You know, you know how it is. But, you know, I wanted to be there, but I was there in spirit. But I'm happy that it was a good day for you. I, I do know how it is, Corey. He does Slipknot, he does Stone Sour, he does the DMFX, and that's not all. <laughs> he also does the Junk Beer Kidnap Band. Dude, all that's missing is a Corey Taylor infomercial starring Billy Mays. <laughs> that would be hot. When's that if coming? I got I to gotta find something for him to shill now. That's I mean, that's just it. I got to do it. He's uh, He's got the uh, the new show on Discovery Channel. I don't know if you're a dork like me and watch the Discovery Channel, but... Uh, I do. They got that show Pitchmen now with Billy Mays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the, and the English dude. That's, uh, and I forget his name, Anthony something, right? Yeah, yeah, some like the some Anthony. Yeah, I can't remember what his name is, but yeah, they, I just love watching them go at each other. You know, that's pretty sweet, dude. It's great just to get Billy out of his element. Yeah, right, exactly. When he's not like talking at like 250 decibels <laughs> and just scaring children and all that good stuff. <laughs> it's the crazy hand gestures. Yeah, <laughs> Billy's got jazz hands. Well, you know he's. He's got he, he's got to jazz up the the product, you know. I mean, what are you gonna do? I and mean, he's got that that thing that helps you, you know, score putty and cocking and corners and stuff. I mean, he's a busy guy. <laughs> true that, man. True that. <laughs> hey, looking forward to seeing you at Laser Fest. Anytime we involve you in anything laser, I've been saying on the air, it's always a party. And uh, May thirty first is going to be no different with the Junk Beer Kidnap Band. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a good time, man. I can't wait. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but we've all heard of your intention to write and record a solo album at some point. Is the Junk Beer Kidnap Band kind of, sort of, our first taste of that? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of solo stuff um, in the set, doing a couple covers uh, and uh, a couple of uh, Stone Sour songs that I wrote. So it's uh, it's kind of just me branching out and, and playing some of the songs that... You know, I, I've just never, you know, I've just never been able to play. You know, I mean, I can do demos all day, but you know, they're just such good songs. I want to get out there and just play stuff for people. You know, and this is just a way to do that. Plus, the you know, JBKB is such a great band that you know we're really good friends, and uh, it's all guys from the Midwest, and um, you know, it's just something really cool that it's it's just homegrown and. This feels really good. Stoner rock disco funk. You're a true pioneer of the genre. I uh, yeah. I, I don't know if we'll be playing any of that in the <laughs> solo set, but you know, once we get some more songs down like that, people are going to lose their minds. It's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> so as far as what to expect musically, we're told you're doing some Stone Sour. You're doing some of that new solo stuff and some cover tunes. Tell me a little bit about the solo stuff. How's it turning out? It's really good, man. Um, I actually just uh, recorded a song in L.A. a few weeks ago with uh, kind of an all-star cast um, that I'm kind of shopping around now for, like, uh, like soundtrack consideration, stuff like that. The song I'll be playing at, at, at the gig. And uh, it's, you know, a lot of people are really, really cheesy about it. They really dig it. So um, I, I recorded it in, uh, in L.A. with... Um, with uh, Matt Byrne playing drums from Hatebreed. Cool. Uh, Scott Schreiner, the bass player from Weezer, laid down the bass. No kidding. And, uh, yeah, and Dave Kushner from Velvet Revolver played wow. guitar on it. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun, man. You know, uh, wrote it, produced it, you know, uh, did it with a good friend of mine, Justin. And uh, it, was, it, it came out really, like, fantastic, man. I can't wait for people to hear it. Now, I've seen in some uh, select interviews you've done regarding some of this solo stuff you're writing, you're making a point of separating yourself from the sounds of Slipknot and Stone Sour. You're doing something completely different. Want to make that clear, right? Absolutely. This is not a metal show. Um, you know, we're playing, some, we're playing good rock and roll, but it's not metal in, in the slightest. It is just, you know, bored out Midwestern rock, you know, just really big chords, really big, you know, really huge choruses. Um, just good, just good time rock, you know, and, uh, you know, just kind of following the veins of, uh, you know, the replacements, Soul Asylum, you know, Foo Fighters, you know, stuff like that. Just really, you know, getting into the big, just the big sound, you know, um, 
just something that you know it's this this i mean you know from hearing some of the demos that i've played for you it's just the stuff that i've always written you know it's all great stuff i can't wait to hear it you're currently on tour with slipknot and once the touring cycle for all hope is gone wraps up what's the plan then immediately after that the plan is basically to uh slump into a chair and sleep probably for about a week (laughs) and (laughs) you deserve it i do definitely i I definitely deserve to sleep upright in a very uncomfortable chair i've earned (laughs) it I've earned all of that, but um, uh, basically the plan is to take a, you know take some time off, um, you know kind of get some stuff going. You know, obviously I got this the studio in uh, in Des Moines with with Fred from Face Cage. Gonna try and get some uh, get some uh, projects in there and kind of get that going and and get the word out about that. Um, but you know, like you said, you know we're writing for Stone Sour right now. Hopefully, start doing pre production in the winter and uh, get into a studio like around March. I just want to go buy you a really nice pillow top, not that you don't already have one. <laughs> I, I, I heart pillow tops, let's put it that way. I, I would not turn down a gift like that. <laughs> well, it's good to hear that you plan on taking at least a little bit of time off. I was going to ask you if you're allergic to that sort of thing. No, no. I, You know, I, even when I do take time off, I get itchy. You know, I, I just got to get I, I end up doing like a million things, so I'm like... You know what? As long as I'm kind of constantly moving, I, I'm okay. You know, so it just means more to me to do the work than to you know lay around. If I lay around too much, I you know, I hit I start hitting the fried chicken. <laughs> I uh, you know I, I make a very nice quarry sized lump on my on my sofa, and I can't have that. So you know, it's uh, it's always good to keep me moving, or right? I start, you know, curling up into a fetal position and sucking my thumb. The world is better off for it, Corey. You know that. Well, I, I can only hope so. You know, you know, I'm going for the Nobel, right? I'm, I'm hoping for a Nobel Peace Prize from day me. one. I've, I've known the goal, <laughs> man. I know where at you're least going. One. <laughs> Six twenty-five p.m. or thereabouts. Uh, stage time at Laser Fest on May thirty-first at the Indianola Balloon Grounds. Just a, another great reason to come to this show, which already boasts a pretty uh, fantastic lineup, headlined by Corn. Yeah, oh, it's going to be a great day, man. I can't wait. I, I, uh, I just, uh, just uh, talking to some of the guys who are, are playing. Actually, I was talking to Corn because uh, you know Slipknot's doing some, some shows with them right now, and. Uh, they 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 asked me about the solo stuff. They're like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "You're just gonna have to find out, man. Seriously." So, don't be surprised if you see some of those guys like standing on the sides of the stage when I'm playing, just going, just shaking their heads, going, "What is he doing? What in the world is going on here?" That's pretty uh, cool to have captured the curiosity not only of your fans but of uh, your peers in the music industry as well. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty sweet. You know, it, it, it's kind of humbling. You know, to to know that, you know, people are keeping an eye on you. You know, people are always kind of interested in what you're doing. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm completely, completely satisfied with that. Keep up the great work, Corey. We really look forward to seeing you at Laser Fest. Stay healthy out there, and uh, we'll see you on May 31st. All right, brother. I will see you very soon.